I remember around eight to nine years back, it was Saturday afternoon. I went with my wife and a daughter to attend a birthday function. We were in the car driving from Rupnagar to Ambala. Near Banur, I saw a bus hit the bike and the bike collided with an auto rickshaw. I immediately parked my car on the roadside. My wife and I rushed towards the victim. People surrounded him, but no one was coming forward. He was unresponsive and bleeding from head and legs. We performed CPR. The ambulance reached. We moved the patient to the hospital and he saved. The bystanders often hesitate to help because of various types of fears. This video will share three common types of fears that stop you from acting in life threatening situation and will try to overcome these fears. The first type of fear is fear of legalities. Every day around 4,000 people die in roadside accidents and among these nearly 50% die because they do not get immediate necessary care. The bystanders do not often come to help fearing legal interventions. But the law exists that protects a person who helps injured or seriously ill and this law is known as good Samaritan law. Samaritan means a, help, a helping person. Good Samaritan law is a rule that protects the helpful person. The essential features of this law are the person who helps need not to reveal their identity. The helping person needs not to be involved in the investigations by the police. The person who helps protected from both civil and criminal liabilities. So, law exists. Legalities differ from state to state. In India, the good Sumatran law is active in all states and union territories. Whereas in the USA, all states have some types of good Sumatran law. Now we'll discuss the second type of fear, fear of disease transmission. Nowadays, the risk of coronavirus is crucial. If you find an unresponsive person during this corona period, consider these things before starting CPR, during CPR, after CPR. Before starting CPR, if you have access to goggles, mask and gloves, use them. During CPR, you place a cloth or a towel on the patient's mouth and nose and use compressions only in CPR. Means avoid mouth to mouth breathing and it is recommended in adult witness sudden cardiac arrest. Now comes the third type of fear, fear of unsure of skills. The widespread concern is the fracture of ribs. According to the statistics, 30% who survive CPR wake up with cracked ribs or chest bone. Please pay attention to the word wake up. It is a small price to pay when compared with the loss of life. Moreover, the fracture ribs are minimal injury that heals completely within a few weeks. Always remember, you cannot do more harm or kill the person who is already clinically dead. To conclude, all the fears are irrational and should not hold you back from performing CPR. If you want to read on this topic, please see the blog on my website. The link is given in the description. Thanks.